<laughs> Degens, you guys want to give me a hell yeah, brothers, sisters, and everyone in there? You guys want to give me a hell yeah, brothers? Yeah, if you guys are a fellow degenerate, you guys want to give me a hell yeah. You guys, you guys want, you guys want to give me a hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck you guys, are amazing. Hi, hello, welcome on in YouTube. I want to be straight up. This week has been fucking chaotic. Uh, in case you guys don't know, YouTube decided to go and take down a lot of my videos. It's been fucking chaotic. A lot of stuff going on in my work and personal life and whatnot. So I feel like I'm getting my ass slapped by like daddy YouTube. And it's been absolutely fucking insane to just fucking take it. I'm just going to be straight up about it. It's been absolutely fucking insane to just like go through the zone. But nonetheless, here we are. We are here. We are ready to enjoy gushing over magical girls and whatever it has to present. I do want to start off by saying one thing, though. And I might catch some heat for this, and I hope you guys are ready for this. This show, I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck if you have 200,000, 400,000, a million subscribers. I don't care if you have one subscriber, but if you're just thinking that this show's etchy, so, oh, I could just silly react the entire way through and only accept it as etchy, or, or you're like, oh my God, oh, oh, is this legal? The, the legal, the legal boy, the legal, the legal. Are you adding anything of depth to it? And, and that that's one area where I feel it needs to go ahead like, people need to expand on the elements that are being presented. And, like, we need to look at this show for the layers and the context that is there. Rather than just, like, oh, my God. Oh, oh, nudity. And, like, it's exacerbating the same things that this show's literally trying to go against. And it's it, it's a little rough. And it's a little, like, tiresome whenever you hear people literally, like, rage. Content creators and other people rage against this show. And yet, they go ahead and, like, do these same reactions towards it. You know? My number one thing, though, is when it comes to exploring mediums, exploring shows, I like to talk about it endlessly, as you guys can tell, because I want people to at least take one little thing away from it. Could be a laugh, could be a sexology aspect, could be a psychology aspect, could be whatever we're talking about. But if you can take one little lesson away from any of our discussions or whatnot, or maybe you introspect and learn something about yourself the more the better. And that's what I'm here for, man. I'm here to have these discussions. And yes, when I mention a safe zone, it's a safe zone for discussion because that way you might have a different idea than I do. And that's a okay. And that's fucking valid, you know? And I'm the type of person that I stand for what I mean, right? I, I mean what I say and I say what I mean. And by that I'm saying like, if I don't like a show, I don't like a show. I'm not going to flip flop and be like, Oh my God, now everyone's liking it. So I'm going to go ahead and like it with gushing. I've always fucking loved it since day one. I don't even give a fuck if people out there try and come after me because I at least have receipts that I can pull out out of a thousand and one reference papers, APA cited papers to showcase why talking about this show is important and enough people out there, you know, like I feel like this show is doing well enough out there that it's fucking amazing. And that's, I'm so fucking thrilled to be here with you guys. And with all of my fellow DJs here, everyone in here, everyone in here, Clever, K, Omega Sheaf, Bayonetta for Days, Comfy by Reiko, you name it. Like, it's thanks to you guys that you guys make this happy. And I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. With that being said, are you guys fucking ready? I'm so fucking, I'm, I'm, I, oof, oof. Gushing sold out in Japan. Is there going to be a season two? That's what I'm excited, bro. That's what I'm excited. <laughs> anyway, with that being said, boys, let's go. Oh, wait, wait. Let me take off the filter. You guys don't deserve the filter. Let's go. ほう。貴様一人で来るとはな。もはや不敬であるぞ。マジアベーズ。約束をしましたから。あなたを倒すと。That <laughs> whip sound. Hold on. Okay, we're going to dissect this real quick. <laughs> I've met people like Lord before. I've had many exes like, like Lord before. 
Uh, let's talk about it. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, indeed. Let me bring this up real quick. Where's it at? That's not what I want. Hold on, chat. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm about to hide you for a quick second. Uh, uh, da, 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 Hold on, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? I feel like I might be here. I might have to go down. No, not that. Not necessarily that one. But is it this one? This. Oh no, no longer available. God damn it! God, guards, darn it, Bobby. Two fifteen. This one? No, not that one. Huh? 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 Now I'm kind of curious. Where the fuck, where in the fuck did I put my tags? Where did I put my dojin? Where did I put my fucking dojin? Hold on, chat. Which repo are you so And How does it feel being ready to watch your ex? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's it at? Wow, I can't even find it. Hold on, chat. You guys are going to have to excuse me for a moment. Excuse me for a moment. I'm literally trying to find. Did I get rid of it? I can't believe I got rid of it. Oh, no, 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 no. No, yeah, it's no longer available. Wow. I have to go ahead and download it again. Sorry. Sorry, chat. Essentially, what I was looking for was the list of kinks, right? Particularly to do with situations like this. Now, there's a lot of studies out there, and I want to go ahead and touch base with you guys on this, right? What do you think expresses a person a need to dominate? Hi, chat. Hi, Ed. Hi, Kara. What produces or what enables a person to dominate? What, what, for example, if you are Dom, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Tarek. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, save this right here. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I love my fucking chat. You guys are fucking incredible. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. So when we're looking at this kink list, right? And we're looking at ass play and we're looking at rimming and fisting and spanking and all of this stuff. Control, desire for controls. Sure. Uh, degradation, humiliation, touch. There's so many different aspects of kinks that are in here. I don't see the ones that, like, particularly that I'm looking for, unfortunately. Light pain, heavy pain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to find it. Can't find it, unfortunately. That's okay. What I'm trying to get at is, damn, I checked so many boxes. When it comes to a situation like this, oftentimes a lot of individuals that are doms, right, or that are actual doms, come from a situation of control. However, have you guys ever heard of the term toxic dom, dom or fake doms? Power over others. Exactly, Leah. Yeah. So you have also a, a negative side or dark side, a shadow side, as one would call it, right? Where it's individuals that instead of like having appropriate control and consent over with the partners, it's that negative control. And instead of consent, it's like aspects of self-satisfaction and destruction. Often, this comes from a key word. And this word starts with an I. Are you guys ready? You guys, you guys want to know what that I word is? Insecurities, ladies and gentlemen. I know, I word. Ooh, big I word. Insecurities, especially in the shadow side or in the dark side of sex, often emerge through these kinks, through these aspects, and often refer off to the other side, right? I.e., how many of you guys have heard this, right? Oh, that like shy, nerdy girl turns out to be a complete freak in bed. How many of you guys have heard that? I have. Straight up. Or... You know, that like, ooh, that dummy mommy. No, it turns out she's a complete pillow princess. Yep. Yep. I've heard that as well. You know, could dress up super duper fine, has the most vanilla sex out there. You know, I didn't hear the switch. Right. People often have, it depending on who you assert and how comfortable you are in your sexuality, you can have differences in kinks and appearances, right? You may like to do something to others. However, that does not mean that you like to receive something. When we're looking at Lord and we're looking at Utena, my question comes into this. What does Utena like? What does she like to give to others and what does she like to receive? What does Lord like to do to others and what does she like to receive? 
And I'm wondering, I'm questioning stuff. I mean, what was the question? That's a trope, a good trope. So the, the question or the situation, yeah, we haven't really seen Utena on the receiving side. And that's the question, Clever, is what does Utena like to receive? So if I were to ask you guys this, not psycholo psychologically, but sexually, how would you break these characters? You can even use any of the concepts of sexology that we've talked about so far. This is why this show is really fucking interesting, because it dives into their psychology while we're like talking about sexology. How would you break these characters through a sexology perspective? And I'll highlight this. Uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? I don't think I have it on me. Fuck. There's a lot of things that are still missing from my old computer. Bam. 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 Nonstop sex. Hmm. Abandonment play? That could be a big one. Absolutely. Is it undo your tent in front of the mic? Yeah. What if you were to go ahead and, I don't know how to put it, break down the element that makes Utena Utena? What if you were to go ahead and, like, for example, Utena without the costume, who is she? Who is Utena without the costume? Shy. She's a fangirl. She's super duper. She, she's small. She's a normal girl. She's super duper shy. Yeah. So why is it that the moment that she can put on this mask, this piece of clothes, she changes completely and that mask or like her inner self comes out? Well, vice versa, when magical girls put on their outfit, they have to mask their emotions. That's interesting. For Lord removal, power and humiliation, for you tend to probably shame to break them. Sure. Sure. So, for example, if Lord was to be in a subservient position, would that break her? Considering her name is literally Lord. If you put her in a subservient position where she doesn't have a whip, she does she like what she does to others, would that break her? And that is where my mind is going into, especially as we're seeing this, and also comes in this aspect. Remembering her first OP reaction for this one. Oh man, there's so many, so much goodness, fucking just mixed all in there. I'm not, I'm not even fucking lying to you guys. Which is this? How many of you guys have seen this? This is called, uh, I believe it's Sternberg's Triangle of Love. And by the way, it's not even on here. This just comes straight from the fucking top of the dome, straight from the top of the dome, brothers. That's years and years of study that, like, now I can just go in and quote people and already know what the fuck I'm talking about there. So Sternberg's tri Triangle of Love essentially states that we all look for love in different ways, in different patterns. Some of us may only look for intimacy. Some of us may only look for intimacy and commitment or commitment or passion or pa like, you know, we all have different aspects of love. One, like in the, in, a, in of itself, it says that consummate love or the bet, like, you know, the most fulfilling love is having all three, but that's not necessarily true. You see, everyone is built different and everyone is grow like is brought up in a different way. For example, some of you guys culturally are taught that like to have inner intimacy, you know, like being vulnerable with yourself is the highest degree of intimacy that you can have. So you might only, you might feel fulfilled just by having romantic love, passion or fatuous love, passion and commitment. And that fulfills you. We all have different layers that fulfill us. But if we were to go ahead and layer this down to these characters. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mr. Tarek, if we were to go ahead and break this down into, into all these characters, what would fulfill Utena? What would fulfill Leopard? What would fulfill Alice versus all the others in their sexology and their sexual desires? Aside from passion, what would genuinely fulfill them? And what would fulfill you in that case? And I know I'm asking a lot about this and I know we're going fucking in depth, but it's the beauty of this fucking show that like blows me the fuck away every single time that we go into it. And that's, that's comfortable. Because, for example, if you're Arrow Ace, are you comfortable with yourself in that regard, right? Because at that point, do, are you committed to yourself? Or do you find passion in yourself or in your hobbies instead of others? And are you vulnerable with yourself? 
And are you filling those needs, right? People often could only confuse it with passionate love or like, you know, romantic love. And it doesn't have to be just romantic love. It can be platonic love. It can be on self as well. Same here. And yep, exactly. Exactly. Is anything missing for you guys though? And that's, again, that that's the key element there. Anyway, I'm bringing this up as an element of conversation because in comes in the next one. How old is Lord? I'm more than happy I am. More time for my hobbies. Look good, good on you. 20. Am I loved and wanted? Hag. <laughs> 20 something. Young adults need to form intimate, loving relationships with other people. Success leads to strong relationships while failure results in loneliness and isolation. Whenever we look at people, we always look one under and one on top as a way of trying to identify if they're somewhere along the lines. Will I provide something of real value? Adults need to create something to nurture things that will outlast them, often by having children or creating a positive change that benefits other people. Success leads to feelings of usefulness and accomplishment while failure results in shallow involvement in the world. Oof. Oof. In comes in. I know, I know. We're, we're diving in deep. We're diving in deep into Ericsson. Which comes in, in this question. Is she a good girl or is she a bad girl? And I know it sounds fucking stupid. It's like, oh, she's the villain. A bad girl. But I want you, I want you to, a naughty girl. <laughs> I want you guys to go ahead and conceptualize this even further. As an individual, as an individual, her actions, would you guys classify them as a good girl or a bad girl action? Or is she just broken or hurt or scared? Or maybe she took up a mantle and now she has to play this role. I'm really curious about Lord Psyche. I would want to fucking break her. She's a type of character that I want to go in and I just want to, uh, uh, I just want to fucking break. I just want to get in there. I want to get in there and fucking break him. <laughs> I just, I, I want to fucking mind break, you know, just give them a little bit of a mind break a little bit. Anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and jam out guys. Guys, send your... Okay, wait, hold on. Chat, can I request something of you guys? I want to make a request. Coffee, you're going to hate me for this. Send me your most fucking Dejan shit of this anime. Just fucking flood it with Dejan shit, brother. Oh, surprise me, brother. Make me fucking take a step back and... I want to see fucking nothing but dams. Nothing but dams. Oh, my God. Hey, well, yo, who the fuck is this? Wait, why is she a cutie? Hold on. Hold on. Hey, yo. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. God damn, bro. Oh. oh, look at the fucking... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. We're, we won't be jamming out while this is going on. I'm sorry, YouTube. This is what happens <laughs> as we're going through it. Oh, hold on. God, the things, this, this shit drives me fucking wild. Oh, oh, <laughs> chat. We're backing it up. We're about to jam out together. We're about to, oh my God.
two things. Number one, is Leopard ever going to go to the hotel with Utena? First question. My second question is this. Could you break Utena if she's doing naughty things to you and you're just... <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, did bro really just <laughs> bro yeah you just no fucking react oh hey yo look at <laughs> and you just like stare you, you just literally stare <laughs> Coffee really picked the whole server. <laughs> oh shit, get the bunk armor. <laughs> oh shit, brother. <laughs> oh but no, the, the question still stands. Could you break Utena if like you know you're just staring at her? Like chat. Chat. Hey baby. Hi. How you doing? You doing okay? I'm proud of you. You're doing so good. You're really, really good boys. <laughs> I lost it. And you're scaring me. You're scaring me. No, but that that the overall question that I'm getting at is like when it comes to displays of power. And aspects like this, right? How can you go ahead and turn the power dynamics that have been present on their head to go ahead and take away some of the elemental or some of the like distinct uh, foundational levels that Utena has gone ahead and produced so far? Anyway, all right, hold on, I gotta check this one out. God damn! Holy shit, that's one and a half. Okay, let's go. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, for the grand... Is next week the grand finale? Hold on. Is next week the grand finale? No? Two more episodes. All right, guys. I'll highlight this. Hey. Hey. Hey, hold on. It's coming. You guys want me to? It's there. You guys want me to? <laughs> <laughs> it's there <laughs> oh god what am i doing to myself on this one oh god it's there all righty let's go ahead and continue are you sure yeah i don't give a fuck dude i've worn um made outfits and random shit here i prefer the kiwi one i don't think i could get away with the kiwi one on twitch brother <laughs> Brothers, 
Oh, that's so fucking great. The hyper realistic jiggle physics. <laughs> oh, shit, brother. <laughs> For Sister and Mormon, right? For Sister Gigante, how many of you guys would allow her to sit on your face if she was this big? How many of you guys would allow her to sit on your face if she was this big, brother? You wouldn't? Not into that? <laughs> you would die trying, wouldn't? Realistically, I'd die. Ed, this is the general. Hey, hey, hey. You do you. Do you. you do you, brother. Do you do you. I kind of want to live, to be honest. <laughs> hey, could you? Oh, no. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, imagine she has to squat all the way down. But it's like, no, no fucking way, brother. Not unless you can do that, like, deep squat. Probably a crevice. I would survive. Oh, oh, take a little oxygen tank with you or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of ways. There's a lot. If there's a will, there's a way. If there's a will, there is a way, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I found out, uh, you know. <laughs> Oh no. Leopardo, Anata, Mario Kumak, at Skyte Masenne. Oh no, she's reading you like a book. ああ。なわけねえだろ。雨プだよ、雨プ。悲しいですね。強がりもいいですが。あなた死にますよ。死ぬわけねえだろ。私は私は。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <laughs> fucking dead brother <laughs> literally though i mean if we're being realistic if we're being realistic here hold on if we're being realistic wouldn't that be a reason to live brother you, you got to respect their, their their desires their honesty right have you heard the power of the hotel? <laughs> Although, to be honest, if it's a cheap hotel, eh, can you imagine going in and finding all these stains on the pillows and the bed and like you use a UV light and it doesn't look pretty? And you're just like, eh. <laughs> no, oh, you're not. Ew. Ew. I can't believe I fucking read that. Oh, you're not. Oh, you're not. We need to have a serious conversation here. But whatever you're into, man, I ain't here to kink shame. But like extra flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it spicy? <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't think DJ chat would fucking break me, but it has. I used to be a janitor. I don't need an imagination. I need a drink. Oh, fuck, bro. <laughs> Your name really fits. Still, though, for her, why do you think she's this driven to go to a hotel with you, Tena? Realistically speaking, like, why do you think this is this is one of the elements that she's so fixated on? Hor Let's be honest. Let's be honest here. <laughs> Let, let's be honest. Propinquity, actual actual connection. Sure. One of the one of the big elements through this, right? And and I want to go ahead and highlight highlight this is when it comes to sex, right? You, there's a hundred and one different ways to have sex. And I, I hate, I fucking hate. If you're writing a story, please don't do this. Sex isn't just to, to procreate. Sex isn't always good. 
Sex can be because you're angry. You need to let out an emotion. Sex could be because you're sad and you know that like for some people they get attached to it. It's their thing. Sex can be a release. Sex can be uh, with a stranger, with whoever the fuck it is. Sex isn't always penetrative. Sex can literally just be the floor plans going into it. You can hate fuck. You can deep fuck. You can throat fuck. You can do a thousand and one different forms of Sex. Sex can be a form of healing. Sex can be a form of growth. Sex can be a form of connection, of reestablishing that connection, that fire, that intimacy. Sex can be literally anything and everything for a person, depending on how they grew up. And it's a way of communication. Exactly right, Leah. When you find someone, especially now that we see Leopard here, right? Kiwi going this way and... <clears throat> Finding this connection with you, Tenant, someone that pays attention to her and someone that cares about her, someone that shows interest in her and whatnot. This sex is emotion-based sex. This sex has an attachment to it. This sex has a pedestal where you, Tenant, has now been placed at. This sex will probably mean, like, Kiwi is probably going to have a blast, even if it's bad sex for you, Tenant. Kiwi would probably be like, I'm gushing! I'm gushing! <laughs> She'd be like, ah! <laughs> you know, like... For Kiwi, th this type of sex or connection or whatnot would probably solidify the attachment that she's having. Whatever, right? I feel like Kiwi is a pleaser in bed. Could be. Could absolutely be. But, <laughs> yeah. Overall, I wanted to touch on the concepts of sex because I've seen it get demonized a lot. And I've seen that people only use sex in a positive way when it can be used for a thousand and one things, even just neutral. how Lord isn't really <clears throat> hmm Lord is getting others to attack for her <clears throat> and even in this attack this is more of a restraint is Lord good at manipulating people but not actually like huh Huh. Is she a glass cannon? No, I'm 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 mm, mm. Yeah, I'm I'm getting some some weird vibes out of Lord. I'm not even gonna lie. Could be an aspect of control. I mean trying to go to hold your crown, I can definitely see it as a power move. But it's interesting how not even like her attacks so far. Other people do them for her, these creatures. And then right now it's a literal like restraint technique that she's used she's made the other girl take off her clothes right loco musica and then apparently whipped her or something in that regard so it makes it makes me wonder a lot about like her that's also what baser does you're right but however baser does it in a way where she doesn't need to go and exert that she's like uh, gonna go. What's the kink about watching someone do your partner? Uh, you mean cuckold <laughs> or NTR or what? What exactly? Yeah, but Baser gets there, gets in there herself eventually. Yeah, Baser, Baser's able to go in and like do stuff by herself, right? I just find it interesting. I don't know. Hold on, let me get more more shochu here. I need to get more horny. I, I need to get hornier. Hold on. I need to gush. Fuck yeah, that's good. That's good, Shochu. 
That's good show too, right there. Oh. There we go. Good shit. Anyway. <laughs> So you want to know what you want to know what you do with someone that's bigger than you like this? In martial arts, and I think this is why the people that I've had bigger and smaller like it. They're bigger than you. They have longer legs. You go for their legs. You take them down. You you, you know you restrain their movements. Uh, you you go ahead and you know you you trap them in that that arena in that area where all of a sudden their size is also their downfall in that regard. Yes, they have power over, especially if they're tall, dummy mummies. You know, but at the same time, you're able to go go for it. What if what if they have a big butt but small legs? Hey, yo, yeah, like that thing from Star Wars, <laughs> the ATATs. Oh fuck, brother. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I feel like if she had a partner, she'd be like, oh, how sad. You can't even come in me. <laughs> oh, fuck, hold on. I feel like I need this hat. I feel like people, people who are totally into, like, the being talked down to kink would totally love her. That's all I got to say, brother. I feel like if you're into that kink, you're into it. Don't get me wrong. Some people like to be humiliated or degraded or whatever the fuck during sex, right? Don't get me wrong. Right. <laughs> Two minutes, a new record. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, we, we all have different kinks and shit that we're into, but I feel like some people would totally just be for for Sister sister Higante here and becoming Markiplier in his power kink. Oh, no. How sad. It can't even stand up anymore. Oh, is that it? Well, how sad. Ugh. <laughs> damn damn <laughs> are you sure that's three inches five inches how sad <laughs> oh fuck sorry chat rip rudy poor rudy <laughs> darka <laughs> If she's so sad, I would go ahead and there's a number of medication out there that we can go ahead and prescribe for you. We can get it get with the psychiatrist team because be, feeling this sad repetitively uh, might be a symptom of either major like you know depression or um, you know other aspects. It could it could even be an actually like uh, if we're gonna go ahead and call it, talk about confounding variables. Sometimes you have aspects of anxiety along with others, right? Um, so, for example, high anxiety, maybe some seasonal depression or whatnot, but consistently talking about feeling sad, that's a very interesting theme. And I'm sort of wondering what medication might work best. And also, hold on. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. Sorry, chat. <laughs> I didn't stop it here on purpose, but it worked. It worked. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Sure, Ed. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking stop. I I feel it in me, and I turn to the side, and Chad's like, "So, Mister Wizard," and I'm like, <laughs> "Can you can you keep your crystal ball away? I, you want to see my crystal balls, Rico? I'll show you my crystal balls. I'll show you my fucking crystal balls. Hold on, Rico. It's Dejan Chat. It's Dejan Chat." 
I'll show you my fucking crystal balls. Hold on. Chat, if you don't want to look at the crystal balls, look away. Hold on, hold on, hold on, chat. Hold on. My fucking m and you perverts. You perverts. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> God damn, chat. You horny degens. But also, uh, this is where the wall fetish, but vertical. That's a blue ball. Well, those balls got me, got me acting up. <laughs> Pixelate that. Um, but no, overall, what I'm getting at when it comes to this, it's it's how you fight, right? The arenas that you fight in and understanding your opponent. Kiwi is so fucking hot. She's so fucking smart for understanding that, like, in order to take down her opponent, she had to, like, you know, go for the legs. Take, take her down where she's standing, right? Her weight is her biggest advantage and disadvantage in this setting. Her height is her biggest advantage and her biggest disadvantage in a setting. If it was out in an open field, it would be even more dangerous, right? But if it's like in a more closed-in environment where she's limited by everything around her, including her foundation, Kiwi's fucking intelligent. Sweep the leg, no mercy, choke her, triangle choke her, you know... That type of thing. She's a bouncy house now. Nah. Kiwi, now you just gotta, now you just gotta hit her nipple. Oh, oh time and time, just play with the nipple, bro. She's saying, <laughs> "Hey, yo, she submits. Poke the eye, <laughs> poke the eye. You guys are fucked up." But what I'm getting at in this scenario, though, legitimately, it probably takes a lot, all right? Twist the nips, flame slinger. Holy shit! <laughs> you have some wild ideas there, brother. Oh, but when it comes to this, though, this scenario right here. What does it mean to, for that power imbalance? And if she's already submitting like this, how big of a threat is Lord really? Like, it, it being realistic with you, we we're seeing this power dynamic shifting with our gushing girls getting this power ups. Is Yutena going to get a power up as well then? Because clearly, if Kiwi is able to go out and handle this with this power up, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, and chat goes silent. And chat goes silent. Hold on. Hold on. Is it really going to be like you tend to like, ah, 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 ah. she's just fucking gushing everywhere and she fucking transforms and her fucking like, she grows like, I don't know, some other shit may the power of already be with you. <laughs> it's not a power up. I'm so fucking curious. <laughs> そろそろその嘘なき夢ろよ。何を見て私にそんなつもりは本気で泣いてみろ。そしたら考えてやるよ。おっしゃ。ごめん。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。さあ。許してくれ。Mind breaker. <laughs> Fucking mind break Kiwi. Kiwi learning from the best. Yamate. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Now, chat, this would be me. This would be Sister Norman after we were done. That's all I got to say, brother. <laughs> I'm going to 
go get a soda. Hold on. Hold on. That's how I always look like after God. Hey, yo. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I appreciate you. You said I was saying some wild things. Y'all are fucking amazing. I love you guys. We could have this discussion here. That's what's great. Uh, uh, I feel like I needed that laugh after everything that's been going on this fucking week. Holy shit. Oh, also, I kind of want to touch on this, right? He got to got cream pie. Oh, I do want to talk about this, and I think I will bring this up. Hold on. You got to drip it. You got to drip it. Hold on, chat. Hold on. We're getting... We're getting toastier by the by the second. We're getting toastier by the second. All right, here we go. So I really want to talk about this because for me, I think that this is an important element to go ahead and explore, which is, I guess I'll ask this. I, I guess I will ask this. If your partner consented to this, all right, which is a technical mind break or, you know, sure. Why don't we go with mind break first? If your partner consented to you being the mind breaker, mind breaking them in whatever way, shape or form that you want. How many of you guys are comfortable in that situation where they want to become so attached to you in that way, right? Where they see the little hearts in their eyes. Of course, people don't get hearts in their eyes. But like for some people, that's their thing. They're like, oh my God, I want my partner to be my entire life. You know, that type of a thing. Nah. For some people, you love it in your dojins, but no, I had gal face. It's fun, Darka. Yeah, for some people, absolutely. Right? Conquest ending. Depends on how intense. Sure. Nah, it would have taken a lot of method to actually do it 99%. Sure. Okay. Which in comes in my next question, which again is a, is a good way of going and reflecting on your own sexual experiences or sexology with the show and what's come, happening here. How many of you have done? I, I I'll I'll state it out there because I don't give a fuck. Throat fucking, or insane hate fucking, or in that scenario where your partner or girl, boy, anyone in between, their makeup is running down, right? They're like tearing up. It, it's just nothing but emotion. Like you know, just all these sex is just emotion based. I have. I don't care a minute. I'm not going to lie. I thought hate fucking means fucking someone you hate. Not necessarily. It's a concept of uh, emotions coming out, especially negative emotions or anger or whatnot, coming out in a way that represents itself, right? I have non-con fantasies, but you have to clear, be clear. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you so much for that. Consent is important and boundaries are important, even in that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for chat to catch up with that. Which my final question for you is this. Chat and YouTube, in consideration to the show and yourself, how many of you would be okay with an NTR route? Either you to your partner or your partner to you. No. 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 Mmm. 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 NTR is the worst. Wait, why? Threesomes may be NTR no. Mm. That's interesting. Even in the side of chat, a Dijon chat, you guys can see this on YouTube. There are boundaries present as to what is okay and what's not okay. You can look through the entire video and use this as a case study for yourself as to the involvement of chat in sexological lens through boundaries and okayness, right? Don't even know what this is, to be honest. NTR is pathetic. NTR is a hell no, but as a degenerate, I know tags that are worse than NTR. Sure. NTR is a non-traditional relationship. Uh, and it can include essentially your partner sleeping with someone else or and you watching it in your phone camera or you know, so on and so forth, right? A swapping would be cool, but no, not into it. Sure. So everyone has different boundaries. And that's the key limit in this, right? 
no matter what. For some people, it might be A-OK under Dogens and shit, but not RRL. For some people, it might be OK RRL where they're like, you know, they're, they do this, but they're not OK with it in Dogens media. However, you also have individuals out there who look at this show and they're like, guys, this is P word bait. This is straight up P word bait. And this show is only for P words, uh, you know, and watching this show is promoting bad sexual education and shit like that. And to that, to those individuals specifically, I say, see this finger? Yeah, it's not coming down, motherfuckers. Come and have a chat. Let's talk about sexology. Come and join. We'll have a big discussion about sexology. We'll talk about the, you know, what are, what are kinks, how it develops, what is okay, what is not okay, what is attachment, what is appropriate, healthy sex, what is, we'll talk about a whole range of things because clearly a lot of people's definition as to what sex entails is so limited to a thin perspective of a worldview that it's fucking terrifying. And that's why when looking at this show, when looking at the scene in particular, it makes me wonder a lot about like how people are okay with certain things and certain scenarios and certain characters and what they do versus other things, right? Versus like say, oh, you know what? Like for example, I'll, I'll, I'll name this character, I'll name this comment out there, right? And I'm very particular about it. There's a comment out there that's like, how could a psychologist be watching this show and analyzing it seriously? It's promotion of blah, 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 blah. The question you should be asking is, why aren't more psychologists and therapists doing this? Why aren't more people talking about sex? Why aren't more people talking about healthy sex and going into the different elements that a show may present and talking about it with general people? You shouldn't be shaming the one person or two people that are coming in here and talking about it. You should be asking, why aren't more professionals coming in and fucking bringing up the education? Ah, ah, ah. They should trust the damn psychologist. Fic fiction is healthy and also fiction is fiction. And I think that's that's the number one thing that, that I always, because he's a psychologist. He, thank you. Thank you. Because it, it, that's my number one thing is I always want to go ahead and, 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 and label that. Fiction is fiction. I don't like, we don't give a fuck what you want. You like fucking lolly shit. Congratulations, bro. That's all you. You like fucking vampires that are at 20,000 years old. Cool. But they look young. Cool. You do you. You like fucking dummy mommies. Hey, good for you. Whatever the fuck you may like. Dojin, hentai, whatever. It's fiction. If it's fiction, it's fiction. And that's your likes. That's your desires. And that's the same thing as most people do when fucking reading a book. Right? But a lot of people seem to confuse both of them. They look at a show like this and they look at Sister Higante and all of this stuff. And they'll, they'll question you. They'll say, how dare you? How dare you as an individual take pleasure in watching this fiction and laugh with your friends about the different sexual elements presented. That's why I love gushing magical girls. That's why I love shows like this that come forth and present these elements that we can have a general, like genuine discussion and in a general discussion or topic over sexology. That's my number one thing. I, I I'm big into the show and I'm big into it because I know that there's a lot of people out there that either don't take the show seriously, laugh at the show for the sexual elements Make the show controversial. Only fucking do pog faces, which is okay. You do, you get your bag however you want to get it. Or, quite literally, we'll try and tear down anyone that enjoys this show. I want to be that voice of change. And that's my number one thing. When it comes to anime, I want to go ahead and be that change. I want to be that agent of change that allows people to go in deeper. To talk in deeper. That's not fucking constrounded by the 15 minute fucking mark. Or 10 minute mark of fucking YouTube reaction videos. 20 minute, 30 minute marks. Where it's quite literally 5 minutes of discussion. 2 minute, 10 minute introduction. 10 minutes of video. I want to be an actual space where we come in and we have a good time and we laugh about it because this show deserves the opportunity for people to go in and talk about it, discuss it, laugh about it, talk about sex and learn the different elements in there. And let's continue. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to fucking go ham. I don't want to go ham just yet, brother. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 
そのまま眠るがいいマジアベーズいいわアリスこれならギリギリ押しとどめられるわそのまましばらく頼むぜアリスどうしたのチクショーおねえな,<笑>なんでよこんな時にはい。Of OP fucking shit is this? What kind of fucking Fourth of July motherfucking fireworks? Oh, what? What? <laughs> I'm going super gush la verita. And, <laughs> and she only got that thing to you, Tana. Holy shit, brother. Her training did pay off. <laughs> God damn! That's a whole fucking outfit change! God damn! Bro, what other training did they do? Yeah, yeah, that's so fucking cool! Madaugukka. <laughs> なぜ我が野望に歯向かった破滅主義者か貴様それともよもや正義の心にでも目覚めたか I had an ex similar to Lord who talked big game who was very controlling kind of manipulative I ain't gonna fucking lie right like it, oh yeah talk big game I can do this I can do that what not total fucking pillow princess Total fucking pillow princess the entire way, bro. Like, they talked big game. They they were like, yeah, the entire time, right? Like, <laughs> like oh, like, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I'll rise up and I'll do this. And I have a lot of people that, like, you know, can do certain things. Cool. That's cool and all. But in bed, didn't, didn't do shit. Like, even the most vanilla things out there. It's like, oh, I'm gushing. And it's like, no, bro. No. <laughs> Gaslight girl boss. <laughs> Looking at her though, very similar. Pillow Princess is such a cute term. 
I wish it didn't mean being inactive in bed. Well, no, I, I don't mean inactive necessarily just in bed. It just meant like very contained, if, if that's a good way of phrasing it. Also, holy shit, hello all 67 of you guys that are in here right now. You guys are fucking goats. Oh my fucking God. I didn't expect this many of you guys in here for the DGen chat today. Uh, fucking DGen heroes, ladies and gentlemen. Almost 69. We're almost at 69, boys. そして強き者はこの私の身。これがいかなることかわかるか？強き者が弱き者から奪う。すなわち真理であり摂理。この世界は私が全てるためにあるということだ。But what off of your back or off of the backs of others? But what off of your back or off of the backs of others? What necessarily does that mean? And what if somebody else were to like literally stand on top of you? What if somebody else were to ride you in that same way that you've ridden others to the top? What would that do to you? What would that do to you if all of a sudden someone were to come in and take away your, your position as Lord or your title as Lord? And you weren't not necessarily seen as a person that sits in the chair, but the person that is quite literally kissing someone's fucking foot, bent over, fucking, you know, like, oh, brown nosing. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. What would that do for you? What would that shift do for you in that regard? I'm hearing a lot about like this world exists for me to rule and all of these justifications that she's throwing out there, which is interesting in her own narrative. But at the same time, did she build that out of nothing or did she build it off of other people's backs? I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying, chat. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Just fucking pose on the side. Oh no. Oh no, that's pretty bad. Hold on. <laughs> What the fuck is this show, bro? <laughs> it delivers her monologue. The fucking T poses. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> この魔力。文字をベースに。ロードさん。私が正義に目覚めたと言いましたね。ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ。これは魔法少女の役目。そうあるべき。ウェイ。ホールドアン。ホールドアン。<笑> I am the one who protects the protectors. Oh no. <laughs> that's so fucking wrong. Oh, that's so fucking crazy. 14 stars. <laughs> oh, I'm gushing so fucking hard right now. Oh my God. That was like a silent gush. Oh. Oh, 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 what is this? What is this? <laughs> La Verita, what? God. <laughs> Oh, 
ましたねロードエノルメならばあなたは奪われる側ですね How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 
彼女の目に映るのはフィルターを通したロードエノルメだ<笑>ロードのキャラクターが趣味に合わず苦戦したベーゼは脳内でロードの像を Literally twisted her narrative. How OP is fucking baser, though? She could literally like base reality based on her perception, like change reality based on her perception of you, of things. She turned her into a brat, and so she's gonna brat tame. Oh my fucking god, I've never seen a show so clever with it. That is. Low tier reality bending. I don't know, man. ロードを私に願いのある姿にね。え、今後やっぱベゼちゃんは好きなんだ。さすが私が惚れた女だぜ。あんた本当にそれでいいの？いや、身動きが。しかし、つまらない能力ですね。押しつぶす程度しか脳
<laughs> this is fucking great. <laughs> okay, then we're going again. <laughs> <laughs> this show is wonderful this show is fucking like a 10 out of 10 i'm i i am uh <laughs> i'm looking at this and i'm like what a wonderful way of bringing down a character from being a fucking lord you know to literally just being bent over being spanked like a little child right Oh, oh, you 10 out of 10. Humiliation play. <laughs> One. One star left. <laughs> <laughs> the shift, the fucking wild shift. You leave a full grown adult woman fucking broken on the ground with her nalgas dos coloradas. You leave a woman w w with her ass fucking red with all those love spankings on the ground and you're you're like ah what are these ours god damn bro fucking savage fucking savage oh my god <laughs> oh you said that's just Felicia. she's gonna need some ice for those cheeks bro get some fucking veeks <laughs> let your ass breathe let your ass breathe you've been tamed anyways <laughs> Sixty-nine. We did it, boys. We did it. We got sixty-nine. We got sixty-nine. Woo! Yeah, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. What did you end up coming to me? Why? Why? You only have one star left. The captain is going to get fired. What did you say? さ。僕の言う通りに働いていれば、あと少しはいい思いをさせてあげられたんだけどね。それでも楽しかっただろう。借り物の力を存分に震えてさ。どういう意味だ。エーゼたちの魔力は彼女たちの素質から育ったもの
Kill it with fucking fire. Please destroy it. You like I fear you and the ones with the gushing magical girls. I'm being straight up about him. Like these individuals, there's something much greater coming at play. And just seeing everything that they're leading it up to, like mm, 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 うん。うん。ウテナ。Hiding sister behind them. That's fucking interesting. Here's my, my theory. Venom's going to go out there, create a whole bunch of other magical girls to keep challenging them and making them powerful. There's something probably to do with him trying to reawaken, gather the energy, gather something in that particular era. But the magical girl economy can't function without magical girls, and the girls can't get stronger without foes. So now you have the set presidents where all of a sudden... She has to go ahead, you know, Utena and all the girls, the gushing girls, have to go ahead and become take take part in this organization or take part in the in this now ga gaping hole that has been left here because other people will try and show up and do the same thing that Lord and Norma just did. She can smell your BS. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, what? <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> So now she even, like they even pushed you as a new supreme. Oh God, oh God, the responsibility has been pushed onto you, Tenna. Oh God. Huh? <laughs> you Tenna for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, what a great fucking episode. Well, we'll wrap it up at the end. Hold on. So fucking peak. Mm. Sounds good. Have a good night, you can uh, and all the others. Bro, I need to get my electric drum set just to jam out to this. <laughs> Anime of the fucking year. Oh my god. Supreme Commander Magic Baker Baser calls the shots. This anime is fucking peak. This anime, I can't even state this enough. What other show have we seen this with? What other show have we ever seen concepts like this being brought up in a way that like allows us to go ahead and talk about it, right? Like what other shows has allowed like has brought up concepts of like sexology of like you you know like actually going in deep and not being afraid of going in deep. 
for me, it's like, yes, there's a lot of awesome rom romance shows and a lot of edgy shows out there. But seeing a well thought out show like this, an actual well thought out edgy show like this, makes me internally happy because it's showcasing, like, for example, there are some pornos out there, right, that actually have a good plot line, a good storyline. But of course, you have to focus on the porn area. I hate to put it this way, or the nude area or whatever. But if you were to go ahead and reflect it onto this and you were to go ahead and take this into consideration, like, what, like, you know, what, what other shows are at, and it's at you with the actual plot? Exactly. I adore this show with the bottom of my heart. And I think there's so much discussion to be had. So many elements to go ahead and take in and actually dive in deep and have a discussion about that and the characters present, which is why I'll bring up this question. Who is stronger? Machia Baser or Alice as an adult? Who do you guys think would be stronger? Machia Baser or Alice as an adult? That is the question that I'll go ahead and leave you guys with. YouTube as well. Guys, thank you so much for coming and joining me tonight. I honestly can't thank you guys enough. I know that YouTube's literally been spanking my ass the same way that Utena was spanking fucking Lord and Norman. <laughs> but like, you guys are really, really amazing. And from the bottom of my heart, it's thanks to you guys that we have a community to be able to talk about these types of topics and go in deep and analyze and do a thousand different things. Thank you for making this platform possible and these discussions possible. Um, I have a ton of fun doing this type of things. I think it's, you guys can fucking see it, like with the silly hats and actually being a part of it and the length of the videos and how long we discuss some of the elements and things and, you know, compared to other stuff out there. This show fucking rocks and I can't recommend it enough. And I know, and I know a lot of my, uh, my therapists and my case managers and other people that work, work for me. Uh, they, they, they're all watching it and they're all fucking loving it. Uh, with that being said, YouTube, Twitch chat, Twitch, Discord, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys, I hope you guys laughed with me, liked it a little bit, enjoyed your stay. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys are the fucking best. Have a great night. Practice that self-care, ladies and gentlemen. And if you don't hurt, if you haven't heard it, I guess you'll hear it here. I'm proud of you. You guys are amazing. Keep up the work. Good work. Have a good night, mates. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys.